Welcome to another edition of Tim's Vital Confessions. Uh, Will's co-hosting this one with me, and it's another Kiss episode. We've done this a few times. This time around, it's um, our cassette collection. I did a Kiss cassette collection one long time ago, and uh, Will's got his here, and I'm curious, because I haven't actually looked at his, to see which one of ours are the same. So, Will, you're the co-host. You kick it off. So we got the Kiss debut album. So this is Canadian. That looks from from where I can see it. Looks like a Columbia House version. I got myself on this one. There we go. So you have to clear your tape. And then songs and credits inside. Yeah. So his clear tape, mine's very similar. Also Canadian. This is a Canadian retail version, though. It's got Casablanca on it, but it's actually just uh, Mercury Polygram. Everything pretty much looks the same as Will's, except that the tape itself is uh, just got a black sticker on it, and it's not a uh, Columbia House issue. So that's the first album. We got the second album. This is also Canadian. And white stickers on the cassette. And inside, a little bit of credits in the uh, Chikara symbol. So my version of Hotter Than Hell, first of all, is a J card without a tape. So right away, it's different. This is a an American version. So you can see on the side there, Polygram, Casablanca, and uh, nothing inside of it, but. I also have, like Will, a Canadian version, so there's the J card, and everything is exactly the same as his, except for the tape itself. Hold up your tape one more time, just the tape itself. And it's just obviously a different issue. So they're both Canadian, it's not a club uh, version, but here it is. Mine is just uh, black with it painted on, and his has a sticker on it, so who knows? I don't know where... Um, which one's newer? It very could well be that they're the same and they were just pressed to different pressing plants. I'm not sure. So that's that's why we're doing this. So next up, Dress to Kill. So this is also Canadian. The Canadian ones are better because they take up the artwork takes up the entire front. Yeah. So you got the black sticker on the cassette there. Yeah. And then inside the credits and song ties in there. And then mine's completely different. It's American. It's a relatively new version of Dress to Kill. And um, I don't know if you can see that or not. It does have the KISS logos around the border of it. I'll hold it way up. So this one was bought in the late 90s. So it's probably the newest issue that you're going to find of it. And uh, nothing in it for credits whatsoever. And just a clear cassette. Which brings us to... Kiss Alive. So this is the just on one cassette copy. The double albums, um, cassettes hold more, so there's no reason to put them on two. So there's what, nothing inside the J card, and then that looks like a slightly like older version of it. Just the way that that tape looks. We got to rewind that. <laughs> Tape's not really on. So, okay, mine looks pretty much the same as Will's. It's a Canadian version, but it is slightly different in that it is a Columbia House version. Everything is on one cassette, and the, the tape looks way, way different. And I'm pretty sure that, um, I, I don't have the record to compare it to, but I think the songs on ours are in different order than they would be on the original record. So that's a lie. That takes us up to 1976. So I have Destroyer, the Priceless Collection. Yeah, the Priceless Collection was um, something that Polygram in Canada did, but only for certain albums by certain artists. And the only Kiss ones that are like this are Destroyer and One More, which we're going to get to. And there's nothing inside the J-Card again. And they did records like this, too. Now, you've got something else interesting there. Oh yeah, so this is the exact same thing, except it's sealed. Where'd you get that? I got that... At the flea market in Moncton. And also the tape themselves, the tape itself looks different. So hold the back there. He's got a clear. clear cake. That's uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, so my destroyer is American. 
and it's a it's a like a '90s issue of it. So it's all the songwriting credits. So there, it's weird how they did that. The title is very very small print, and uh, just a just a standard U.S. copy. An older copy would have had the cream colored Mercury cassette that uh, Polygram used in the states. So that's what my version of the story looks like. As far as I know, the the originals doesn't exist on cassette. So we move on. So we got Kiss Rock and Roll Over. Be an American one. Just have the white cassette and the letters are printed right it's on there. Different looking. And there's nothing on the J card again. No. Mine kind of looks like that. It uh, looks the same in the front. But what this is, it's an American copy, but it's a BMG music service version of it. So the cassette looks quite a bit different. So as you can see already, like there's uh, the cassettes can look way, way different from each other, depending on where they're from. So Kiss Love Gun, another American one. Yeah, and this is the old fashioned in the in the late seventies through the eighties. Polygram cassettes came in the cream colored um, cases, and they that sort of like off white color of the cassette itself. And yours, Inside. just one page there. One page of credits, which is more than some have. Now I've got basically the same version, only a newer issue of it. Uh, it's U.S. edition of Love Gun, clear case, clear tape. Everything else is the same, right down to the, the bit of information, the song titles and credits that were inside of it. So, next up. So you have Kiss Alive 2, and it's on one cassette again. So you got the white sticker on the cassette. That's pretty common that the Canada used for their cassettes. And Jake Tired is blank. Yeah. Now mine is the same. Kiss Alive 2, uh, it's Canadian edition. Retail edition, but the tape is different. Tape is black. Now, I don't know which one's newer. I think this one might be a little bit newer, but it doesn't make much difference. Now, the next one is where there's a quite a significant difference in the way that they were made. So Yes, so I have double platinum here. American one. And for some reason, that's double platinum volume... One, one, and then double volume platinum two. volume two. They split it into two tapes, and you might say, "Well, there's 20 songs all together." Of course, they split it into two tapes. If you know anything about the old Kiss songs, they're short songs. They didn't need to be on two tapes, and here's the proof. This is my version of double platinum, which is Canadian, and it's all on one cassette now. Does that mean that the tape is, you know, would possibly could be stretched and break? Yes. Yes, it totally means that. So, this is the Canadian edition on Casablanca. There's nothing inside of it. And the tape's not even that long. I'll bet you it's not even as long as, say, Def Leppard Hysteria if you were to hold it up. So now we're up to the solo albums. And I'll let Will dictate what order he wants to put them in. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I guess we'll start here. This is Gene's solo album. It's Canadian. Looks like a relatively new version of it. They get the black sticker on the cassette. And the J card. Wow, all, all the information in there too. I'm impressed. Because mine <laughs> does not have that. So this is my copy of Gene's solo album. It's American. Uh, a relatively newer issue. And the way that they did it is they put the the member's name in big letters and a little tiny KISS logo below it. And it's a clear colored cassette with absolutely nothing inside of it for credits. So next up, we have Ace's solo. This is the exact same as Gene's solo, the copy I have. Another Canadian one. Black sticker on the cassette. And the J card doesn't fold out on this one. And this is a credit smaller. This is a first because this is the first time that our versions are exactly the same. It's, I have the very same one, um, right down to the way that the cassette looks. So I'm not even open this up. That's the first time in all these cassettes they've been exactly the same. And Paul Solo, very similar again, Canadian. The black sticker on the cassette again. And the J card pulls out. Really impressed things. that they put all those credits in there. Hmm. 
Well, meanwhile, I've got this sad looking US copy here. I don't say sad looking, it's just different. And um, again, like the Gene one, the member's name in big letters and then the KISS logo in little letters, clear cassette, and nothing in it at all for credits. Now, so now we have the best solo album. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is an American version of Peter's solo album. Yeah, and see, which is different than, than mine because it, it doesn't look like that. I've seen copies of his that look like this, so it's a, I think that's an earlier issue that you got there. Got the off-white cassette? Yeah. And nothing on the inside. So I've got, uh, so my version of Pete's solo album is Canadian, and I like the Canadian cassettes because they tend to take up the whole cover even though they're not a, a square. Uh, so this is a Canadian cassette, looks like all the others, just a black sticker on it, and... Uh, now, but what's odd about this is kind of funny because it does look like the ones that Will showed you, but it doesn't fold out. So there's this one page of credits, and that's it. It doesn't have as much for credits in it. So now, so now we have Dynasty. I've never seen this copy of yours before. So this doesn't have any song titles on the front. Would this still be American? It looks American. Let me see the from the side of it. Yeah, that's American. Um, I can tell by the. Uh, yeah, it's New York, and I can tell by the catalog number. But I've never seen this this uh, version of Dynasty before. That's really cool. Do you know where you got that one? Uh, I think I ordered this one online. Okay. It's the off-white cassette and nothing on the inside again. And so remember when, when Will showed you his copy of Destroyer's copies of Destroyer was from the Priceless collection? I have the Dynasty version on the Priceless collection. They came out with records like that, too. So if you're ever KISS fans, you probably know this, but if you're digging through records... You see Destroyer Dynasties that have got those. Take a look to see if it's got the Priceless Collection written somewhere on the top. Because I don't know, I don't think it's worth anymore. It's just a variation. And it's also got a different uh, number, KS410. And uh, his Destroyer has KS404, I believe. And the cassette looks just the same as uh, many of the ones that you've seen. But what's weird about this is that I don't know what yours is like, but side one and side two on our my version? No, yours is correct. Side 1 and Side 2 are correct. On mine, Side 1 is Side 2. Side 1 starts with Charisma, Magic Touch, Hard Times, X-Ray, I Share Your Love, or Save Your Love, and it's the opposite. So, for some reason, they reversed the, the order of the sides. So we have a U.S. copy of Unmasked, once again with no album songs on the front. And see, that one looks more like the way that Unma that's written. It's more like it came out at the same time that these would have come out. The red... And it's not one that you see there. all that much. So the off-white cassette yeah. and nothing else on the inside. Uh, my Unmasked might be the oldest cassette here. Um, the, at least the J-Card. Mine's very, very old. It's a Canadian version. It's actually a Canadian Columbia version. You can tell by that, that font of writing. It's, it's pretty old. Definitely from 1980. It's not a reissue of any sort. And uh, it is a Columbia House version. But the tape itself, when I bought that, it actually disintegrated. Like, there was nothing to the tape, but I kept the J card. Because the cassette I've got for it is a later issue, which has the black sticker on it. We have Kiss the Elder. This is an American copy. Don't see many copies of the Elder, so uh, it's... Uh, yep. The off-white cassette. And... Will's copy, it's got the uh, the Oath as the opening track, but the track listings are, are, are different. I see somebody took the time to write their name inside of that. Well, that's that nice. My copy of Music from the Elder is foreign, so that's what the front cover looks like. Oddly enough, um, Music From is not in brackets, which it sometimes is, or quotations, but... Uh, on this one, I see it is in lower case, where the elders all in in uh, caps, and that's what that looks like. It's got the same track listing, starting off with the oath. Uh, this version is actually made in Holland, and there's a few cassettes that look like this. It's got the Casablanca logo in it, and a bit of information inside the J card, not much, but it's got the songs and who wrote them, and um, a little bit of well, just as produced by Bob Ezrin. So next up is a couple. One that will. I got a couple tapes to show you. That have, uh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got one that came up before that. Here, you show them one. I'll show them the other one. This is Killers, 
from 1982. So the version I've got is, um, I believe, is a German or is a is a Dutch version on uh, Casablanca, but the sticker on the back is Canadian Polygram Special Import. So I bought this used, but originally someone would have ordered this in, and that looks just like my elder cassette. And the copy that Will has there is uh, got the German S's on it. And everything else is pretty much the same on that, right down to the catalog number, 7144193. It's the exact same issue, it's just that, obviously, if you know anything about the history of KISS in uh, Germany and some other countries, they could not put out um, the KISS logo as it originally was. I think that the cassettes, yeah, they're both made in Holland, the cassettes are identical in every way, so... That one came out first, and now, the big one, I think. Uh, one of my favorites. So we have, this is a Canadian version of Preachers of the Night. Yeah, the original makeup cover, the real cover. We have the black sticker on the white cassette. And then, credit and stuff on the inside. I think mine's pretty much the same, except mine, the one I've got, came in an older Polygram case with the Polygram logo uh, raised into it, but it does look just the same as Will's, and the same uh, credits on the inside of it, and the cassette looks the same. And the next thing is the alternate cover for Creatures of the Night. So this is the Canadian version. Everything looks pretty much similar. Off the makeup cover version. It's just different color on the side. Yeah. And my copy is just exactly like Will's. Uh, the J card I think is a little darker, a little bit, not that that makes a huge difference. And the only difference in the cassette is that his looks like this, mine looks like that. If you, it's a very, like, so his has a, a narrower um, window where you can see the tape itself, and if you put your finger on there, the plastic is soft, whereas this has a, a hard plastic one. So probably issued around the same time. It's interesting, though. A lot of these tapes are different in some way. So now the makeup's off. Just like that, makeup's yeah. off. It's a Canadian Lick It Up cassette. The sticker on the cassette and the song titles on the inside. Mine's exactly the same issue as the, the one Will just showed you, identical in every way. So, um, yeah, you just saw it. <laughs> Next up, best album cover ever. Oh, of course, the best by far the best album. The best cover. album cover. <laughs> this is Animal Eyes. Yeah. Oddly enough, did not use the logo. That's a Canadian uh, Columbia House edition of Animal Eyes. Just printed on the black cassette. Yeah, but they did actually put the, the actual logo on the cassette, just not on the side of the cassette. That, that one always stood out for me because of that. And then one page on the inside. And you got a secondary copy there. Also so a Columbia House, but it's a... Sideways. I think it's a U.S. edition of Animal Eyes. Very different on the outside. So we have the clear cassette. Oh, that is a, it's Canadian edition. Still a Canadian edition. It looks like a U.S. edition. Now mine is a. Go ahead there. So slightly, I think it's the same. The J card is pretty the much the, the same. Lyrics on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, mine's pretty much the same. It's a Canadian Columbia House issue with the album title. Um, but this looks much better on the side than, than the original Canadian issue did. Um, and all the lyrics. And the cassette is pretty much the same. So we have Asylum next. That's a Canadian edition. Sticker on the cassette there. And my edition is, is just the same as Will's. I'll just show you the cassette is different itself. It's a black cassette with it printed on there, not a sticker. I 
I think these are exactly the same. We have Crazy Nights, Canadian version. This is the first, well, no, I guess Animalize, some copies of Animalize are the first one that had uh, lyrics inside of them. Crazy Nights is the first one that pulls out to any, any amount. And like a lot of uh, albums at the time, there's an order form on the other side of there for the Kiss Exposed uh, VHS. I guess you could probably order it in beta too um, if you wanted to. Kind of, uh, you have to be careful with that one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is... Liked it so exactly much you bought same. it twice. Yeah. Or didn't know you had it and then you bought it again. Uh, that sounds more like it. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly the same. So mine's pretty much the same. Canadian edition. Um, all the same. Uh, order form for Exposed and all of that. And that's what the cassette looks like. I have seen... Um, I don't know if it's the U.S. edition, but I have seen versions of Crazy Nights where it looks just like this, but um, the logo and the album title are colored like that, but they're they're like yellow and blue on the side. So we have Canadian smashes, thrashes, and hits there. And there's a sticker on the cassette. So that's a retail version. You can get this folded out. The lyrics on the inside. My version's pretty similar. It's a, it's a Canadian edition. It's Columbia House issue, so the but the only thing that's different is the cassette itself. It's a clear cassette. Next we have Canadian Hot in the Shade. have the letters printed right on the cassette. Another big then long fold out there. Inside. Mine's exactly the same as Will's. I think that at a certain point, I mean we're getting into the late 80s, um, these are albums that wouldn't have been pressed and repressed so it makes sense that most of the copies you see from them look the same. Uh, the next one I got is not an official album. I just it's the only one I've held on to of these types of cassettes. Uh, this says Kiss Live in San Francisco, April twenty third, nineteen ninety two. Before Revenge came out, the the lineup of Kiss as it was then, with uh, Gene, Paul, Bruce, and Eric, did a club tour, and I picked this up. I think at Backstreet Records in Fredericton. Uh, if for a bootleg, it's not a bad sounding um, bootleg. Well, that's an old picture of me and some of the boys in our kiss makeup. I was Gene for the record. Take a good look at that. I forgot I put this in here. We were trying to mimic the Creatures of the Night album cover, if anybody's curious. And um, track listing, I'll hold that up, that track listing, is actually quite good. They didn't do any revenge songs at this point, but it's a good mix of old and new. And what I remember most about listening to this is that when they went in to shout it out loud, there was a drunk guy in the audience who every time it came around, he said, you got to have a party every time, not just the times that it called for. So there you go. Well, you might as well have fun. I guess. Get to have a party. You made it on the cassette. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said, listen, that's me. I, he's smart. Yeah. So we have a Canadian version of Revenge. I really wore down this black cassette with the ladies printed on there. That's one thing where the stickers lasted a little bit longer. They they didn't tend to fade, although they would tear. So band looks so, so cool this at this at this point in time. Best non makeup look for Kiss. And my copy's similar. It's Canadian edition, except it's on Columbia House. And uh, all that basically means is that the cassette is a clear cassette and it's got uh, distributed by Columbia House instead of distributed by Polygram. So we have a Canadian Kiss Alive 3. Got the ladies printed on the cassette again. Fold all this.
this out. The family tree and the listing of songs that says that I was made for loving you comes from Dressed to Kill. But it's cool graphics. I've always enjoyed looking inside the... That was the, one of the first uh, Kiss CDs I got. My uh, version of Alive 3 is American. So, But like I've said different times, by the time it got to this point, about the only real difference between the U.S. and American copies of the albums, if they were on the same label, uh, was just the fact that the cassettes looked different and uh, the addresses of the record labels. Um, other than that, everything was pretty much lined up right down to the serial number. And that's what the cassette of my Alive 3 looks like. Uh, the next one I've got is uh, the Kiss My Ass tribute album. I've got a, my, my CD was Canadian, so it's got the Canadian flag on it. This um, cassette has the American flag on it. It's the censored version. Um, and it is a BMG direct mail order version. And that's what the cassette itself looks like. Um, and the same stuff that's inside the record and the CD. So I've always considered that at this point in the KISS collection, even though it's not really KISS. So next up. So Tim was nice enough to actually pick this up for me one day. This is a sealed copy of KISS Unplugged. That's a Canadian edition. Yeah, never been opened. Whereas, um, this is my version of the Unplugged album. Uh, there's so much wasted space on the record. The record's got so much black around it. But anyway, um, and that's the cassette itself. Canadian, um, Canadian Columbia House version. And uh, the same pictures. In case you're wondering what that is, that's an order form for the Kistory book which um, Matt has, and if you were to ask him, he would say, I wish they had bound it better. So also in 1996, of course, to make way for the reunion tour, and it worked on me. I got excited enough to buy this. Uh, you wanted the best, you got the best. Just a collection of live tracks with uh, an interview with Jay Leno thrown on at the end for some reason. Would still like to find the, um, I'll take this out of his because it's the red <coughs> case, we still like to find the uh, European version of this that has the live version of New York Groove from Australia 1980 featuring Eric Carr. The set itself is red as well, but uh, once you take the J card out, it's more uh, normal colors. And um, I think that those pictures, of, I think the, the, the faces came off like the Kiss trading cards, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. And like so many other KISS fans, I'm here to say that there's absolutely no way that Paul's vocals on Room Service were from the 70s. They sound 290s. Uh, another one to show you here from 97. Greatest KISS. This came from Columbia House. It's a Canadian issue on Polytel, which was the, uh, the advertising, I guess the TV advertising of albums ver uh, division of Polygram before they got bought out. This album was actually, this album cover, if you read the liner notes, was actually designed by Tommy Thayer. So he's worked with the band, of course he works with the band going back to Hot in the Shade and co-writing songs. So despite what people say, this is still the best Kiss album. This is a Canadian version of Carnival of Souls. The clear cassette. Picture the band. I was glad when they put this out uh, because it had been heavily bootlegged, but I do wish they'd put a little bit more time into the packaging. It's odd that you sure that's a Canadian version? Yep, I think so. No, I lied. It's so, US. Well, the reason I say that is because mine's Canadian and the cassette looks totally different. And it doesn't say Carnival of Souls, the final sessions on the cassette itself, but it also doesn't have any song titles on it. Other than that, mine um, looks the same as Will's. And, uh, yeah, the very minimal packaging. And, yeah, it would have been 
interesting to see what they would have done with this album if it had been put out and promoted as just a regular Kiss album. And then I think there's just, we both have just one more thing to talk yep. about. So this is a U.S. version of Psycho Circus. With the clear cassette again. Inside. All the lyrics. And uh, my version of it is Canadian. Uh, you'll know both of our versions that neither of them with the cassettes, they didn't go for the lenticular cover. So in a way it's kind of good. You can see what the actual artwork looks like, but um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't. But this was kind of getting towards the end of um, cassettes. As far as I know, there's only one other Kiss cassette that's newer than this, and that's the very best of Kiss that's came out in 2002 and that's very very scarce to find on cassette neither of us have it at least as of yet so that's a reboot episode uh looking through both of our collections of kiss cassettes so thank you for watching tim's final confessions